Hey everybody, I'm here in San Francisco and I'm honored to be with founders of street soccer here, which actually has huge impact fighting homelessness. So why don't you introduce yourselves and tell me what's going on here today. I'll start. Uh, my name is Lawrence Tan, uh, founder of Street Soccer USA. And we have our West Coast Cup uh, that Rob has organized. Yeah, so we have uh, teams, uh, uh, Street Soccer is a social program where we transfer job and life skills to folks through soccer. Um, and we have our uh, for, uh, service providers that we partner with um, across the West Coast. There's a team from LA, uh, our team from San Francisco, Sacramento, Portland, and Seattle. And it's really uh, you know, celebrating the work that they've done, the goals that they've accomplished in the last year. Um, and we've also brought the community together. So there's also we have 30 other teams from around the community that as well. So it's a big soccer festival. Now, how'd you get started? I mean, uh, you know, soccer and homelessness. Uh, right, so when we were nine years old, our family's house burned down. And we lost everything except we had insurance and amazing community and uh, all our needs were met. So we learned at an early age the power of community. And later on, you know, getting involved in the homeless issue, you see that people don't have that community. And for us, as probably soccer players, like our community is our soccer community. And when we saw a lot of teens on the street, and young people, you know, like sports are just a natural way for us to relate to people, or like other humans. Not in some service, like you receive the service, I provide the service, dependent relationship. It's very authentic, and that, that's the way I wanted to get involved in the issue, is an authentic human to human way. That's the beginning of it. Now, I know this is the first West Coast Cup, correct? Now, how long have you been doing the street soccer? How long have you been doing 2006 we started. Yeah. 2007 we started to spread it. We had our first National Cup the following year. And this will be the fifth National Cup. So. And then, it, it, what's the event coming up in New York? That's the national tournament. That's the national one. Right. Right. So 16 cities do the program. We always do it through partners. We work with existing homeless service agencies. They do, they do great. We do what we do great. We work together. Uh, so all of our cities, once a year, we have this national cup. And it's like a family family reunion for the network. Now, in the homeless cup, people can only play twice, and they need to be moving forward, but then come back as alumni and play around. Uh, success story. You were telling me about the guy that we're hearing in the background, MC. So, yeah, yeah well, I mean, there's, there's so many. And Chris Lodgson, uh, back when I was really, you know, the guy coaching, he was one of my players. And he is now just getting ready to graduate from Brook College. Uh, he stayed involved. Uh, he's a kid who grew up homeless and disconnected. And, you know, having, he didn't need much. He just needed a little guidance. And he's been doing amazing. But he's now become our announcer. We were doing events. We bring him out. And he actually, I said we bring him out. He pays his own way out. Uh, it's just great. You know, that's what it's all about, to see people mentoring other people. Yeah. Um, how, uh, anything that you'd like to add? How people can support you? Well, two things I want to add. Um, one is, you know, you need to understand street soccer. There's a soft skill deficit, uh, formal skills that people don't learn. And through sports, we're able to address that. You know, and then the second thing we provide is community for folks that are otherwise isolated and homeless. And, uh, and the third thing we do is connect with partners. That's how street soccer works. How can you get involved? Any way you want. StreetSoccerUSA.org, sign up to volunteer. Uh, it's a volunteer-driven, community-driven organization. Get our web, get our, uh, join our newsletter, come see us. You know, it's a family, please join. And, you know, uh, People think you have to be into sports or you have to be a soccer player to get involved with street soccer. Really what it's about bring people together to be a part of something positive, to be a part of the community. So if you don't play soccer, you can come and you know, be a mentor for someone. Uh, the national event is July 20th and 21st. 20th or 22nd, 22nd is at Times Square. Times Square, wow. it's going to be a we're blast. Able, we have a wow. good stuff. Now, this is another important point that people are, are realizing. Uh, people get happy and excited about street soccer, and that's important. But it's not the end of the road. Because if you can come in and do a tournament like this, people feel good for a weekend. Right. You can drop it back down lower. And we're about a long-term commitment to change. We're also about like you know, some results. Like, we want to know that people are doing good. And we have about 75% success rate of people uh, reaching success on their own terms. That's education, housing, employment, uh, completing a treatment program, whatever it is. Um, and that's why we have partners like the Department of Homeless Services in New York, Park and Rec here, enable us to do these events. We couldn't afford to permits. Uh, but because you know, we're interested in people moving forward and having success, that's why we're going to do this for so long. Support, 
street soccer, the USA street soccer, your local street soccer. If you can go to the New York City event, um, uh, I'm actually a little biased. I'm going to be rooting for the LA team at 2 o'clock. So, you know, uh, you know, you gotta go for the home okay. team, you know? And which is actually a youth shelter. Uh, yeah, in, in out, yeah. Yes, and uh, so obviously I've gotta support that. Thank you, everybody. Hey, we know you're a big advocate, Facebook too, too. so thank you. Follow the scores in the tournament on Facebook.